Jesus, thank you Jesus, amen, amen, oh holy ground, amen, and I know that you are your Lord, oh hallelujah, and where your presence is Lord, there's liberty, Father, where your presence is Lord, there is joy, where your presence is Lord God, there's life forevermore, Father, what a privilege, Lord God, what an honor, Father, Lord, to be in your presence, Father, what a joy, God, to be in your presence, Lord, to know God, you've kept us alive, Lord, to know we are healthy, Father, you've kept away sickness and disease, you've healed all our diseases, Lord God, you've delivered us, Father God, you've washed us clean, Lord God, you've purified us, Lord, we've got so much to praise you for, Lord, we've got so much to thank you for, Lord, oh God, we appreciate you, Lord, we love you tonight, Father, may you have your way in a special way, Lord, may you move Oh God, across the ether waves, Lord. May you move from house to house, Lord God. May you move through the TV screens, Lord God. Into every home, Father God. Touch every seat, Father God. Touch every heart, Lord Jesus. Touch every life this morning, Lord. Oh God, may they not just sit and watch, Father, but may they get into the spirit, Lord God. May they create an atmosphere in their home, Lord God. May they create a presence in their home, Lord. May they raise up holy hands, Father. May they lift up their voices, Father. May they worship, Lord God, like the minister said Sunday. We are free, Father God. My hands are free, Lord. My feet are free, Lord God. My mouth is free, Lord God. I am not a spectator, Lord. I am a participator, Lord. I'm not going to sit tonight, Lord. I'm going to worship you, Father. I'm going to enter tonight, Lord God. I'm going to look wrong tonight, Father. I'm going to praise your holy name, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your home, let's worship him. Let's praise him, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we lift holy hands, Lord. We raise our voices, Father. We lift our worship to you. We lift our praise to you, Lord. Oh, you are worthy, worthy, worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be glorified. He's worthy to be magnified. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, you've forgiven all our sins, Lord. You've healed all our, our sicknesses, Lord. You've delivered us, Father. We just want to thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Oh my church, we are free. Oh, we are free tonight, amen. Oh my hallelujah, be hungry. Sister Joe, we are free, amen. Hallelujah. Every devil is under our feet, amen. Every situation is under our feet. Every devil is under our feet, amen. We are free. Brother Matt, we are free tonight, amen. Oh, Sister Mary, we are free. Thank God we are free, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, amen. Bless you, Brother Errol, amen. Bless you, Cambridge, amen. Bless you all this evening. Amen, you can have even extra one gallery for me, amen. Oh, hallelujah, amen, amen. Amen. I feel like I'm in the upper room tonight. Amen. Amen. I feel sorry for those who can't turn their cameras on. Oh my. I feel sorry for those that are still camera shy. Oh, but we are free tonight. Amen. Amen. We are free tonight. Amen. So those, if you can't turn it on, turn your camera on. Amen. 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 If you can't turn it on, Go and get new internet, amen, hallelujah, amen, amen.
Amen. Bless you, Brother Andre, man. Amen. If your internet is giving a problem, call Spark. They'll come and sort you out, amen. So you can turn your camera on. God bless you tonight. Amen. Welcome in the house of the Lord. Good to see you all, amen. Oh my, bless you all, bless you all. Amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. I know Brother Morgan is preaching tonight. So understand his camera, Sister Lorna. God bless you. Rebecca D.B., who's Sister Rebecca from Australia. Amen. All of a sudden, your camera shy. You never are. Amen. But God bless you. Abraham, all of a sudden, your camera shy. Abraham, not too sure why. Caroline, your camera's always on. Not sure what's happening. But oh, my brother Zion, did you phone them for your internet yet, brother Zion? Oh, my. But all of you, God bless you. Amen. Special welcome. Where I saw JD. JD, JD's there. Yes. Amen. All of you know JD? Yes, J.D., amen. What's his name? Jesse David. Jesse David, amen. Amen. God Yay! bless you. Come, sister, talk to show us Jesse David, amen. Oh. Glory. Amen. Oh, welcome, Jesse David. Oh. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We have to go to gallery to see who's going to test it. Anybody got a testimony? Amen. We want to... Uh, 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 which brother Taz will, I think he's either 50 or 60, one of the two, I'm not sure. I was never good at math, so I'm not sure what his age is, but I think he's close to 50. He's closer to 50 than 40. I do know, but brother Taz, happy birthday. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I always say, brother Andre, he's my best brother-in-law in New Zealand. Amen. 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 He's my best brother-in-law in New Zealand. Amen. 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 For those of you that don't know, he's the only one I have in New Zealand. So he's the best. Amen. So God bless you. I don't know if it's anybody going to testify. I don't know anybody. Yeah, brother Jude. And brother Jude's going to testify. Anybody else want to testify tonight? Brother Andre. Amen. Amen. I think brother Taz is going to sing us a song tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen 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 so we'll sing another chorus god bless you welcome give everybody a wave and i'm gonna try that song mm, well the wind is blowing again oh the wind is blowing again just like the day of pentecost the wind is blowing again
you know, I was just really grateful that I was born in a, a Christian home that, you know, can believe on God. You know, I could have been born anywhere else. I could have been born in another denomination or another country. Yeah, can you hear me? Sorry. Okay, I could have I could have been born in another country or another denomination. And uh, you know, God is the author and finish of our faith. And I'm just so grateful that I, I could be born in a in a in a family that believes on God and believes in the prophet's message. And I just like to sing a song. Um you deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship and I bless your holy name. For you deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship, and I magnify your name, for you are the great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you. everybody tonight and be present in as a very short testimony just thankful to the Lord for a wonderful day and to come to the prayer meeting this evening I want to tell brother Ferdy I love him I want to tell brother Ferdy I'm so happy that was a wonderful praise and worship he electrically set me on fire tonight so God bless you my precious brother and I want to wish brother as well, happy birthday, and I want to sing to the two brother in laws a special song from the Lord. Simply said, we just got to talk about the Lord, amen. So, God bless you, brother Andre. Uh, brother Taz, you want to sing a song, brother Taz? Amen, amen. Sing a song. I don't want to sing a song, actually. Um, sorry, it's just an echo here. I just, um, I want to just say thank you to the Lord. I have not, I've got a song to sing, Freddie. But I just want to say thank you to the Lord. Um, uh, Jude, I can, um, I echo what you said tonight. Um, I thank the Lord um, that he allowed me to be born in a home that I was born in. Allowed me to, to, to have access to the message that we have. It could have been so much so different 
um, I, I was actually, I'm not sure I was talking to someone um, earlier this week or, or, or on Sunday past, and I was saying how, I, how thankful I am to Almighty God for His grace upon my life. Um, and, you know, I see my mom and my dad that's here tonight. And um, I, um, I want to actually thank the Lord for parents that He's given me um, for teaching me the ways of God and for setting the examples that they've set for me um, so that I can be here today. Um, that's, I'm, I'm closer to, I was thinking about that uh, earlier today, I'm closer to 50 than I am to 40. And that's a scary thought. But, um, you know, I, 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 I thank the Lord for parents that he's given me. And uh, um, uh, that, that's, that's, you know, taught me that there are some uh, mom and dad, you know, I, I go back and I think about a lot of things. And uh, I'm just so, I sit here tonight uh, with gratitude for the grace that God has bestowed upon my life. Um, and I look at my wife and myself and, you know, even I've got my in-laws here today. And as much as my parents, you know, have played a part in my growing up, for Freddie and Mordorin, Mordorin was actually my Sunday school teacher. And they, they've set a positive example to me as well. So um, young people appreciate your parents and appreciate godly parents because um, I can say I am what I am today because of the grace of God and because of parents that God has given us. So I'm just so thankful, Freddie, I'm done here, but I'm just so thankful um, that the Lord has carried me all these years. And I want to say thank you for the messages. Um, I got a lot of private messages as well. Um, and it, it really touched me. Um, some of the things that people said about me, I thought, what are they talking about? But uh, I want to say thank you. And God richly bless you all. Very back to you. Amen. God bless you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 It's so true. Amen. It's so true. You know, we have to appreciate. Appreciate what we have. Like you said, Jude, appreciate what we have. Amen. Amen. And you sort of sometimes think, you know, it's hard. I, I sometimes struggle, we struggle when we think about the people that walked away. And you ask yourself, where do you go to? With all we know today, where do we go? You know, I'm just so grateful to the Lord. Amen. 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 Let's sing that song. Amen. I think it's a fitting song. Oh, how I love Jesus. Amen. And we, and we just, you can close your eyes and you raise your hands. And, you know, and I, I'm so grateful that God, you know, God is not, he's not, he's not, He's not in one place only. The fact that he can be in everyone's home that's represented on screen, five, 10, 25 connections. You think that he can be in 25 set of homes at the same time, and he can meet everyone's need tonight. And so as we sing the song and we get ready for the word, and welcome brother Morgan. Amen, we just, you know, close your eyes, raise your hands and sing it back to him tonight. Oh, how I love Jesus. Thank you for the testimonies, everyone. Brother Jude, Brother Andre Taz, thank you for the testimonies, amen. Yeah. Well, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh,
Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, happy to be with you tonight for the cause of the cross. Can we just bow our heads and we can pray? Dear Lord Jesus, I feel so privileged tonight to gather under this your word. Lord, protected by your own precious blood. Amen. We see, Lord, the death angel is moving all over the lands. But, Lord, our prayer is, you, the life giver, may enter every house, every room. That's, Father, where your people are, calling upon your holy name. Father, for your scriptures tell us, call upon me and I will answer. We base our lives on that, Amen. knowing God does not lie. Amen. We invite you tonight, even in this service, Lord, yes. to take over and take full control of my lips, Amen. my thoughts. Lord, bring them all under subjection to your word. Amen. May you bless, Lord, every listener. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name, commit this service into your hands. Amen. 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 God bless you tonight. Um, thank God for his word. I will not uh, take long. <laughs> God bless you. We will turn to the book of Isaiah. Chapter, tw chapter 40, verse 21. If someone can put it on the screen, that will be great. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 21. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that we'll be on the highway to heaven together tonight. I'll just give you my little portion of encouragement so that we can uh, get somewhere tonight. I'll read. You have found the place. Isaiah 40, verse 21. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Have it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as the grasshoppers that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing, he maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Yea, they shall not be planted, yea, they shall not be sown, yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. He shall also blow upon them and they shall wither. The whirlwind shall, shall take them away as double. To whom then will he liken me? Or shall I be equal, said the Holy One? God bless you. We may be seated. We want to thank God tonight for this grand privilege that he has given us. Amen. 
the last time we were on this, I think we were in level four and we were still under bondage. We were longing for our freedom, freedom to worship God, freedom to see our loved ones, freedom to do all the things that we so feel in our hearts we wanted to do. But God's word has given us something more. Amen. As we have been hearing from the previous weeks, preachers have been preaching this side, that side, until it came on Sunday, uh, the issue of freedom. Yeah. Hey. Lockdowns, lockdowns had just imposed upon our minds, upon our hearts, uh, lots of oppression was just coming in because it had been bombarded day and night. You were just hearing the news is all about COVID, COVID, virus, virus, this and that, defeat, defeat. Mankind is being defeated, bombarded, left, right and center. They have tried it in Germany. They have tried it in Britain. They have tried it in the USA. They have tried it in China. No one seems to be having a breakthrough. But I remember the few things that somebody told me or asked me when this pandemic was starting. And I simply pulled one scripture of God answering when he said in the book of Psalms, I am the Lord that healeth all thy diseases. Now, after I said all that, then the news changed. Lots of things came on the news. And I was looking at that scripture. God promised, God means that, and he stands by his way. Now, here in New Zealand, it's election time. I've put here for um, a topic, the choice of the true leader. I'm not talking about New Zealand elections. I'm talking about the heavenly elections. You have been elected. My Bible tells me that. And that election is done by God himself. But he also needs to be elected in your life. Like, I've given you one example. When people are campaigning, they often give what they have to offer. I'll do this for you. I'll give you each one a helicopter. I'll give you money for free. I'll give you food for free. Those are human beings. You have listened to them over the years. They give you some truth, some lies. But God says in his word, his fountain does not bring bitter waters and sweet waters. God's word is true, and God's word is certain. Amen. Now, I've, re uh, I've read here, people might have wondered, what is this brother doing? Somebody is saying something here. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Have ye not been told you from the beginning? Have, have ye not have you not understood from the foundation of earth? This is in the book of Genesis. We hear about lots of things that God was presenting to mankind. Adam knew that and he grew in that atmosphere. Until sin, sin came and the peace, the tranquil was mine. Then came the children, Cain, Abel, they got into the same highway, like you and me tonight. We want to pray, we want to talk to God, and I believe we want to hear also from God. What does he want to say to me? I'm always looking forward to that. Amen. What does he have for me tonight? Amen. Now, I was talking of these things that happening naturally so that we can all have a rough idea of what God has in store for us. Amen. The Bible just tells us, I have not seen, ear 
has not heard. What God has in store for them. Hey, that's his promise. I've read you another one. I am God and I heal all thy diseases. Okay, I'll go deeper or I'll, I'll, I'll just read more on this. Now, with humanity, if I go to my Bible here, in the book of Judges, it's got a cycle, and it was labeled here, cycle of Israel's actions. Now, what God done with Israel on the natural is what he's going to be doing with you and me spiritually today. Because if we read in the Bible, we can hear, squarely God tells us, Israel is a special people. And then he gave, because he called them special, he gave them ordinances, he gave them all his love, he gave them the way, the truth, the light. Until such a day when they decided we are fed up with this. We want to elect another leadership. We are tired of being led by a prophet. We want a king in the election started. And people will want, the prophet Samuel warned the people, be careful of what you want to do. The people heard, yes, but they could not hear. I'm going to do something here. One Samuel, uh, chapter 12. Verse 15, but if ye will not obey the voice of the Lord, but rebel against the commandment of the Lord, then shall the hand of the Lord be against you, as it was against your fathers. Something is happening there. Now therefore stand and see this great thing which the Lord will do before your eyes. It is not with harvest, is, is, it, is it not with harvest today? I'll call unto the Lord and he shall send thunder and rain, that he may perceive and see what your wickedness, uh, that your wickedness is great, which ye have done in the sight of the Lord, in asking you a king. So Samuel called unto the Lord, and the Lord sent thunder and rain that day. And all the people greatly feared the Lord and Samuel. And all the people said unto Samuel, Pray for thy servants unto the Lord thy God, that we die not. For we have added unto all our sins this evil to ask us a king. Verse 22. For the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it hath pleased the Lord to make you his people. God has got a promise. That you hear? reading there to paint a certain picture which you will see in a short while. I said the cycle of Israel's actions. Israel would sin, suffering would come, they will serve a foreign king. Next, they will cry out to God and deliverance will come. In the book of Judges, it was through the judges. Then they elected this one and he fought. And then they put on this one, and he done the leadership, and things worked out right. After deliverance, they will have peace and rest. That cycle did not end there. It's in your life, it's in my life. When you are walking in step with God's word, there is peace, there is tranquility. Now and again, if we go off the highway, God may allow something to bring us in light. I like what the preacher said the other day uh, when he said, God gives you the best temptation or 
to bring you back in line. Amen. I don't say it exactly like he said it, but it was something in along that order. It says, God uses the enemy to bring the best in you. The enemy will be thinking, yes, I've got him. But God has got a wiser plan. He is almighty. He has worked in numerous accounts. Just compete the enemy. I'll give you examples. There was a man in the land of Uz. By name. Job lived a perfect life, the Bible tells us. Job was always worshipping, praying for his family, living right before God. But the enemy came in. And he came in through, I'll show you uh, later on, one of the things that he later saw. That's one part. God has got many parts that he wants to show you and me. The other day, we were just cranking one another. It's just with the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead. Well, as he knew, I was just anchoring myself into something because I knew something has happened or whenever you are preparing something, the challenge is always coming. And when, the, when that challenge comes, we meet an adversity, just like I want to present God's word. Things come left, right, and center to bring any distractions. But yes. God will and has always prevailed. Same with your life. The enemy always wants to bring disarray. Yes. I tell you, where we read, it was pointing us to the beginning. In the beginning, we saw the best worshippers who were coming before the throne of God. They worshipped the He not see, have he not read that from the beginning, it was like this. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So, oh, just lay this foundation. I hope I'll do it in the best possible time that I have here. When I was a child, I thought as a child, I done things as a child. But when I became a grown-up, yes. things must change. Yes. And same with prayer. Yes. If we go to the book, scriptures can do that better than me. Prayer, Matthew 6, verse 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as hypocrites. Ah! For they love praise standing in the synagogues, in the corners of the street, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. When thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret. And thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when he pray, use not vain repetition as the heathen. For they think they shall be heard, for they are much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, O our Father, which O our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Then the Bible puts something more here. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, 
either will your father forgive your trespasses. Now, Job had an encounter with the wicked one. Just like you and me, we are no exception. We are in a battle and the battle is raging, hot and heavy. He just looks for any slight opportunity to knock you off, he gets you. Now, when we are in a service, we are told it's just like a cup that's just gone for a walk. They check the lights, they check the brake lights, they check the indicators to make us avoid accidents uh, yeah. along the highway to heaven. As we go, we check our brakes, yeah. we check our motives, yeah. we check our intents, yeah. are we going, are we not going too fast with life or in the things of this life? And we get corrected by God's way. Yeah. Why I chose the book of Isaiah? Isaiah is like the summation of the whole Bible. Yes, yes. Isaiah 40, if you read in the beginning, it was talking of John the Baptist. Yes. John the Baptist came. He done his part. And he knew exactly where he was standing. The spirit crying in the wilderness. Amen. Do you know where you are standing? Amen. Do you know where you are sitting? Oh. Do you know who you are? Because once you know that, nobody can push you around. Amen. If you know that I am a son of God, if you know that the Spirit of God, like I said the other day, if the same Spirit dwells in you, Amen. you quick them, that mortal body, you will know I am unconquerable. You will stand like St. Paul, who say, even if they kill me, you can actually change it into a song. I have fought a good fight. I have kept the faith. I've been through some hard times. I made it by his grace. The peril is almost over. You right. Yes. Where, you have, where you have been and what's left? I tell you, the book of Isaiah tells us if the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God will raise a standard. So you tell me, why is there so many of these calamities in this world? Why is there earthquakes everywhere, diverse places? Why is there this pandemic? Do you think God is surprised? No. Sir. no. God knows everything. Amen. And when we were in Sunday school, we used to sing, God has a plan. For my life, God has a plan for my life. It took him just a week. Uh -huh. oh, does it remind you something? Yeah. I told you from the beginning, go back. You will find him somewhere. Uh -huh. If you have left him, you will go back. Check how we are praying. Check how we are doing things. Check how we are running. I remember there used to be great things happening in my life. Uh. I remember there used to be lots of things, spiritual, happening in the church. We read some of them in the Bible. We hear some of them in the books and tapes. But what is changing? Why is it that now it's becoming hard for many people to say, if you want to see Christ, you have arrived. Come here. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey. Hey. I'll give you a few testimonies. The other day I went to a certain place. I met a certain girl, presented Jesus Christ. She looked at me, she's looking at herself. She thought I was busy shopping. I said, no, not that kind of shopping. I am a fisher of men. And if I want my father's business, I just mean that. I'm looking at you, I'm looking at what's inside you. Uh, when we go to our church, you know, this and that, no oh, problem, everybody is free to go to the church that they like. All I'm after is, have you met him? Uh, no, thank you. It's in you. Hey. And if it's in you, is it giving you a victorious life? Hey. It didn't take long. 
I went there a year later. That girl was hiding, didn't want to be seen. What had happened? Her course of life had changed. The same church that she was going to, things had happened which had ruined her life because they were not abiding by God's word. So going to church is good, but getting to Christ. Amen. Going to church is good, but get his spirit. Amen. We read in the Bible. There is so many examples of what happened in people's relationships with the Lord. Tonight, we'll just pick a few of these characters. I mentioned Job earlier on. I'll continue with him so that we won't uh, get confused. In the book of Job, chapter 42. This is someone who's coming to a realization. He has been worshiping God. Things had been happening. He was with the family. Now the family has been attacked by the enemy. Yes, God allowed it, but he allowed it for a purpose. And we're going to see part of it here. Then Job answered the Lord and said, I know thou, can, thou canst do everything. Remember I said it's the time of elections. And I believe you're going to choose the true leader of your life. Yes. Mm. Yeah, the other elections, oh, well, I, sometimes I, I just hear and you it goes. But this one, it involves you, whether you like it or not. You are going to be a member who's going to tick at the right box if you are wise. But hope we have, I will have time to get there. If you are like some other people, you'll be told, Oh, foolish Galatians, who have taught me after having begun in the spirit, that now you want to concentrate in the flesh. Yeah, because that's how people miss it. Remember the subject behind? It's the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, dwell in you, dwell in you. That's the book of Romans. But we're not confuse each other. We are only ticking. Ticking, ticking things that will stimulate you in moving into another dimension, in putting another gear of not going back to the reverse. Yes, because yes. God has got a name. I mean, if he was talking to the devil or to Satan, say, Have you seen my seven who? What if he says that about you? What? I don't think you will make my friend. <laughs> what does he say in the scripture? I say he does not lie. And his promise, he said in the Bible, them that you have committed unto me, Father, men will be lost. You tell me, who's the liar there? You or him? He yes. said, if you commit them into my hand, none hey. yes. will be lost. Hey. So I hope you're not just being bound to say, I'm in your church. I'm in a fellowship. And you end there. Get in Christ. Because that's the secret. Most people get so discouraged. I've spoken to many. They tell me, I used to go to church. And I am very careful to ask, so then what happened? Yeah. If you hear the excuses, oh, for another day. <laughs> God, rich in mercy, has made us stand this day because, oh, I'll continue to read. This is Job. I know thou canst do everything. That's God. And that's his promise. If you are to elect him tonight. The other day I was talking, I said, this to the visible and invisible audience. This will be heard by someone who's still contemplating. Would I, should I go to church? 
how about this, how about that. We all came from those ways. We all came from such confusion. But the day will come when you have to make the decision that can be right. That can be now. Who knows if you can still be standing tomorrow? Yeah. Who knows if you are going to go because of what's happening today? Because it's just a vehicle. Death is a vehicle to take you where you belong. But are you ready? And if you are not, there's your chance. I'll go on. Uh, Job 42 verse 2. I know thou canst do everything and that no thought can be withholden from thee. Very good. It's God who says that. So whatever you're thinking, he knows it already. Sometimes when you meet someone who's like that, we often say, why waste your time? Just surrender. Because it's a greater force. Before you make a move, he knows it already. So why not be? What does the Bible say? Have the same mind that was in Christ. Amen. Who? Is he that hided counsel without knowledge? This is God asking now. <laughs> Therefore have I uttered that I understood not. Things too wonderful for me, which I knew not. Here I beseech thee, I will speak. I will demand of thee and declare thou to me. These questions don't just end at our brother Job. Hey. They can come to you. They can come to me. We are all children of God. And remember, our day is not the same. Some came to the Lord years back. I might have come, like, I might have come last year. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But one good thing that I love is with the revelation of God's word, it doesn't matter. Mm. The revelation can make you grow. So fast to where God wants you to be. That's why when he was coming to any tree, you'll say, is there any fruit there? No. <laughs> Unless if it brings fruit. Because it doesn't matter whether you, come, you came to the Lord last year or yesterday. When he shall come, my Bible tells me, he seeketh for fruit. Amen. Okay, okay, okay. I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now mine eye seeth thee. Yes. Praise his holy name. Amen. I like to come to this realization. Amen. I believe this realization is not given by men. No. By God himself. Amen. All the days we tend to pray, we tend to do this, we tend to walk. Praise the Lord. Okay, I'll skip all this. Go to verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job. Look at this scripture. And compare it with Matthew uh, chapter 6, verse 15, when we were talking of forgiveness. When he said, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his people. Does it mean Job was just busy with his family alone? Is it you? Is it me? That we are just busy with our home and not our friends? The Lord Jesus Christ many, met, met many people. And if you hear the way you would address them, you would go, friend. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Are you his friend tonight? Amen. I'm inviting you, brother or sister, come take this invitation. The elections are there. He has been showing you. I present it perhaps so fast for you, but I know you'll read when you are at your own pleasant time. Thank you, Lord. I'll read you more benefits. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. 
Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? At first, I spoke of diseases. That's the next thing that's coming here. Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Tonight, I gave this invitation because we want to get to a moment of prayer. Job caught the secret when he had to forgive his friends. Yes. And then the next verses, they will tell us more how God restored what he had. Yes. It could be you. It could be me. Hey. Now, Brother John has told us, alone, but we are together. Amen. And Amen. God has allowed signs to make us meet, not only in one country, but globally. So that we can catch this revelation. So that we can sharpen one another, say the scriptures. Iron sharpeneth iron. We don't want to miss this opportunity. Many a times we are so used to our kind of ministry. Many a times we are so used to our own homes and comfort or home churches. But God is very, very universal. Yeah. He's got all these days we've been fellowshipping around it. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, where we hear we're hearing about the treasure in earthen vessels. Yeah. Vessels of honor. Nice. As I come to the end. God tells us, um, praise the Lord, doing well on time. One Peter chapter two verse nine. The Bible just reads, "But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people." Serving God is not cheap, like what many people think. Serving God is not just some willy-nilly job, but it's a special calling. Okay. I'll go for that. that he should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into this marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but now, the people of God. Amen. Oh. Do you think it's someone else? It's you who is yes. looking at me. Amen. My Bible just says, maybe you can read in yours. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. Which in time past, were not a people, but now, the people of God, which has not obtained mercy, but have obtained mercy. Amen. This kind of a people, God seeketh such to worship. Last Tuesday or so, we had brother Matt telling us about the woman in the world. God had a special appointment with that woman. She thought, I'm by myself, I'm going to get my water at my own appointed time when no one can see me. Uh, that could be you when you're hiding. But God has got a special appointment for you. Amen. God said, she was busy trying to look for water. Very good, she was doing the right thing. And then she met the right kind of water fountain that his soul desired. The Bible does the same. 
If you are looking for God, God makes sure you get to the truth. But if you are not serious, God will make sure that you go away. I will send a strong spirit of delusion, says the scripture. Who does that? The same God gives you the two ways. But the choice is yours, like I presented in the beginning. It's election time. Who are you choosing? God or the devil? Today, right before us, the election is on. Choose ye this day. Tell me who will you save. <laughs> God is there. But who shall come to worship him? I'll do this as we are closing. The Bible tells us, I said, don't follow on the wording like of the Galatians. Galatians chapter 3. You want certain people. Oh, foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that you should not obey the truth the requirements. Before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth, crucified among you. This only would I learn of you, receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. Are ye so foolish, having begun in the Spirit? Are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Have ye suffered so many things in vain? Is it be yet in vain? He therefore that ministered to you the Spirit. And worketh miracles among you, doeth it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Legalism throws people nowhere. If you move in the spirit, he will teach you. This same book of Galatians teaches us how the law is a schoolmaster, but it's a schoolmaster to take you somewhere. School is not what you have to do the rest of your life. No. If you are going to be schooled, you are schooled towards a certain goal. After that, you will make a choice. Who will you elect tonight? Hey. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Same with the scriptures. You saw how Cain came. Huh. You saw how Abel came. They both worshipped. And when they worshipped the Lord, Lord said to this one, go to the other one, correct. And then instead of learning from the other, oh, did you say learning from another person? Yes. yes. God yes. is in my brother. God is in my sister. I can learn certainly from all the ones that are looking at me, even the ones that I don't see. As long as it's God's word with the right spirit, I can learn. Certainly. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. May God help me tonight. These were the Galatians. You are who you are by the town, by the country, by the life that you live. That's your exact description. John 8, 36. Now we're coming to the freedom that we were talking initially about. Lockdown, lockdown, it locked people and even in the faith, some were just busy shaking. So what? So don't fear for God, man. If you call upon him, he'll come and show himself. Don't fear for God. Uh, John 8, 36. If the Son therefore shall make you free, Amen. ye shall be free indeed. Amen. Uh, okay. It will, it will have more flavor if we go with it this way. Verse 37. I know that here Abraham sits, but he seeks to kill me. 
Because my way has no place in you. How can Abraham's seed fail to have? Or how can the word fail to have a resting ground in Abraham's seed? It means this seed is fake because of its natural, eh? Yeah. Let's go on. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. Hey. I don't go into that area. God bless you tonight. The Lord has been gracious to us. If the Son of Man set you free, he shall be free indeed. Free to worship him. Free to serve him. Free to testify about him. I will not be ashamed. Like what one said, see, even if I go in the sea, in the depths like Jonah, what did he do? He still moved. Where is the east? Where is the east? Until he found the promise of his day. I will turn to the temple and God will hear. How about you tonight? Where you are seated, where you are standing, where you are driving, whatever you are doing, can't you turn to him a moment? Yes. Can't you? elect him. I know you have been fooled. I know you have had so many churches. You have had so many tricksters. Like people hear sorts of weird doctrines until they say I don't want to go to church anymore. Yeah. Because they're just confused. Come to the backsliders, so-called. Or the ones that are no longer congregating with the saints. Because people are different day. Eh? Whatever that you hear, whatever that you see, whatever that you touch, do it in the spirit, said the scripture. If you don't do it in the spirit, you get lost. Tonight, as we draw into a moment of prayer, God spoke through the woman in the world, the book of John, chapter 4, I will not read that one, but uh, there is uh, something I'll pick here as we close by the grace of God. This was just the book of Romans, but in the spirit of him that raised him up, Jesus, uh, that raised Christ from the dead, that's verse 11, well in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Verse 14, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again. Don't be locked down. Be free. Go into the heavenlies. Don't be locked down by the things of this earth. By all this that the news is busy bombarding in your ears. Come to God. He's got a special voice. He's got a special answer for you. Um, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the, ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba Father. We read about that circle that the judges were going through, sin, crying to God, deliverance, when they get a judge. Now you, be the judge of your life. Now take it seriously. If we ask anybody to judge you, we judge you wrong. But if you present yourself, your life before God, you, I believe, are the best judge for your life. Um, thank you, Lord, for this your word. Colossians chapter 3, verse 11. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision or no uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond, no free, but Christ is all in you. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, followers of mercy, 
kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have any, any have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do, do you. Uh, and above all things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfect peace. That's the basis. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also ye are called in one body. And be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching, admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, singing with grace. Amen. Praise the Lord. I close all my Bibles as we come to this. My friends, when they came to summit, it was a terrible moment. They were trying God, who they had seen, do all those things that had happened to their forefathers. Like the Bible just told us from the beginning, from the beginning. The way of worship, the way he would come down, the way he would lead his people, like the Bible plainly show, shows us, God never intended men to lead another man. That was the theme that was being shown in the Ten Commandments. Hey, God made men, but men made slaves. Yeah. Yeah. Next, God intended that the Holy Spirit should lead his people. Yeah. And by that, he put a prophet to lead his people. Now and again, the prophet Moses, prophet Moses, prophet Moses. I used to think the simplest book to read is the New Testament until I found the real New Testament is taking all those things from the laws of Moses to text and false teaching. He knew how to appropriate what's in the Old Testament into the New Testament. Say so this you see in the Old Testament by revelation, this is what it brought us through Christ. It did not end there. When they came to Samuel, they chose a man. That's where trouble started. But the option is there tonight. We can still make that election. Don't choose a man, my friend, but choose Christ. He is there. He was just giving you what he could do. I didn't even read all those things from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 21 to 31. I urge you, take your time. Read it for yourself. And at the end, that's when he gives some of those golden nuggets. Like, they that wait upon the Lord. Okay? I love that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. The last time we were reading Luke 18, the Bible was just warning us, men ought not to faint. Verse 2, he told us, but to pray. Now we are going into a moment of prayer. Before I hand it over the service back to Brother Ferry, to lead us into prayer, it says here, men ought not to faint. And then when we go to the book of Isaiah, it was giving us the reason why we shouldn't faint. How we can faint? Because he renewed our strength. If we follow him, the true leader, he gives us another surge. He renews us like eagles. Eagles yeah, yeah, yeah. can live another life if he makes that elective move of renewal. So can you tonight. With those few words, I give the service back to our precious brother to lead us in prayer. God bless you. I know it's been long, short to some, depending on how hungry, how thirsty you were, but the same Lord Jesus Christ who met the woman in the world, she had come, perhaps with a pot, perhaps with just a pitcher. But because 
She went to the right place. You have come to church. You have come to the world. I pray that the same Lord Jesus Christ may meet you in your closet, may meet you in your home, may meet you in your church the same way. Like a woman in the world, I was drinking a drink that would not satisfy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But when she had, when she saw the Savior, hey, they come in the well that never shall run dry. What should we do? You my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup. Fill it up and make me whole. So, for this election, don't go half. Don't go quarter. Be full. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Of song at that moment for my cup, Lord. We're going to time of prayer, and then the pastor will take over. Amen. Amen. Let's sing a song for my cup, Lord. Amen. And the pastor can come and take over. Amen. Just want to say thank you to Almighty God. You know, I was um, as I was listening. You can just you know, can you just see your hands? You can hear me, okay? Yeah. As I was uh, listening uh, tonight to the Word of God, I you know I just thought and I appreciated the balance of the Word of God. Oh. I'm just gonna just um, change this. Sorry. I, I appreciate the balance of the Word of God, where, you know, the, the Bible says, the Bible says in the, um, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, it says, children, be obedient to your parents in the Lord, for this is right. But if you go further down in the scripture, the Bible also addresses the fathers 
and says, fathers, do not provoke your children. And I thought, you know what? It's so wonderful that God, he knows about balance. And this evening, you know, as I was listening to the word of God, through Brother Morgan, um, he, uh, God came in and it was quite an interesting um, uh, subject choice that Brother Morgan made when he said, you, you need to choose the true leader, choose the right leader. Mm. And sometimes you ask yourself the question, why would a minister come and say something like that to a group of people that's in church? That serves God. But you see, God knows why he wants to say what he wants to say. And I believe this evening there was someone sitting maybe in the audience here tonight, maybe even me, that God was reaching out and saying, you've got to make sure that you've chosen right. And I believe that, you know, in our actions, in the way that we love, that will, uh, I believe, be a, 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 sort of, a sort of a demonstration to show have we chosen right. And at the same time, you know, the, the, the minister came and I just wrote this down. He said, actually, in the beginning, he says, what does God have in store for me? And I wrote on my notes here, what does God have for me? And what does God have in store for me tonight? And I am thankful, Brother Morgan, God richly bless you just for the way you allow God to use you. You also allow God to use you not only to challenge us, but to encourage us. Amen. Because you also say, not Brother Morgan, God came to tell us that God will always prevail. Amen. As we face situations. And you know what? We are facing situations all the time. But the encouragement that God wanted to bring out to us tonight is that God will always prevail. Amen. And then God came to remind us again of what he came to tell us on Sunday. You are free. Amen. I want you to be free. And I believe this evening that you know, we're just going to pray for a few moments. I've got, I've got a prayer request here tonight. And um, I want to read it, and uh, uh, then we can just go over into a time of prayer. And I'm glad we've got a bit of a full house here tonight. So maybe for the next five minutes, um, after I've read the prayer request, we're going to go over into a time of prayer. And maybe you in your room, you pray. You know, on, on, a, on a Tuesday night, I believe, you know, we, we, uh, it's, it's a prayer meeting. So I'm, just, um, I'm going to read this prayer request. And then we'll just go over into a few minutes of, of prayer. It says, uh, could the believers please keep Pippa, her name is Pippa, in prayer. She's a work friend of Kim. And she's going through a heavy bout of depression right now. And believers, you know, depression is one of the big things that's hitting so many people. Not only people out there in the world, but people even may, maybe, I might be looking at you and you're looking at me. Maybe you right now might be going through something, maybe even going through some bout of depression. It says here, could the believers please keep Papa in prayer? Going through a heavy bout of depression right now. She's struggled with this and has been up and down since childhood. Please pray for God to break every shackle and chain and for her to find Jesus right there by her side. Now we know that depression is a demon and we speak demon Chasing language. Amen. Amen. So right now, I'm going to pray, and I want us here in my room just to pray with us tonight. You in your area, just into a few minutes of prayer, and then we'll close off the meeting. So uh, just remember, for Pippa, her name is Pippa, and I want all of us collectively just to intercede for Pippa right now, because you and I, God has given us the authority 
And uh, I, I want us to use and utilize that authority tonight. As we just delve into a time of prayer, everybody, let's just pray tonight. Loving Father, we just come into your presence tonight in that precious and wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We say thank you this evening, Heavenly Father, by God that we can be recipients of your precious word. By God that you can come and you can speak to us, you can come and you can correct us, you can come, Father, you can challenge us. Lord God, you can also come and Lord God, you can lift us up and you can encourage us. And Father, that is what I received out of the word of God this evening, tonight, Lord. You came, Father God, you encouraged me. My God, at the same time, Lord, you mentioned certain key things that I need to look into deep into my life. And Father, I thank you for that. That my God, you can come and you can highlight little things. At the same time, Father, you come and you tell us, my God, that you want us to be free. So Heavenly Father, here we are tonight as a church of the living God. I like that, Father. We are the church of the living God. Father, not a God that's dead. Not a God of history. But a God of now. And that is why, Father, we can come before you with confidence, Lord. That is why as the church, as the body of Jesus Christ, uh, my God, that mystical body like Brother Brandon puts it, uh, Father, we can come together collectively, Father, Lord, in unity. Father, we realize and we acknowledge that, oh God, in unity, there is power. And Father, tonight, my God, we are unified uh, with you, my Lord Jesus. Uh, and as we unified with you, we are unified together tonight, Father. So Lord God, in that spirit of unity, my God, Lord God, we want to storm uh, the house of hell. Lord God, Brother Brandon comes and he, 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 he tells us, Father, of the God, Lord, that experience that he had. Lord God, when you showed him, Lord God, all those people, my God, that were bound, my God, in a prison house. And Father, tonight we've got Pippa, a friend of Kim, Lord. Now, Kim is a daughter of God. And Lord God, Kim, uh, my God, is, is, is presenting uh, a burden tonight. A burden uh, for a friend. My God, that's in a prison house. And oh, loving Lord Jesus, uh, Brother Brandon came to tell us uh, about that experience that you gave him. Father, he might have seen Papa, my God, Lord, in that prison house. But, oh God, uh, you instructed him uh, to speak, Father. My God, to speak against that prison house. Uh, and, Father, to say, house of hell, give way to the name of Jesus Christ. And, loving Father, I am thankful this evening. Not only Brother Brennan had access to... Uh, to the power of the name of Jesus Christ. But Father, each one of us that's here in this virtual meeting, Father God, us here in Cambridge, believers out in Papakura, believers out in Swanson, my God, believers out in Lewis Street, believers out in Wake Street, my God, believers gathered, oh Father, wherever they are, but we are gathered together in heavenly places, in Christ Jesus. So Father, we speak right now by the authority of Jesus Christ uh, to that house of hell, that prison house uh, that has got proper bound. Father, collectively, Lord God, uh, we say house of hell, that's holding Papa down. Uh, give way to the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, if there's anyone else here tonight, my God or anyone 
that might listen to this recording by God and they might be finding themselves right now Lord God in a, in a prison house Father they can step from prison into power Father my God that's what you did with Joseph he was in prison but oh God he stepped into power and my God that is what you want of us your people oh Father my God, you don't want us bound. You want us to be free. So we say thank you this evening. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the time of prayer. Thank you, my God, that we have access to the name of Jesus Christ. You know, God, that we can use that name effectively, Lord. And we can see results. Father, I believe with all my heart, my God, that Papa will see results because there's a praying church. I think of Peter, Lord, in prison, but there was a praying church that prayed for the release of Peter. And my God, the angel of God went. Yes, and performed the miracle. Yes, my God. So, Lord Amen. God, we say thank you in advance now. Glory to God. What you're going to do for Pippa? Thank you, my God. Thank you for the burden that you've given Kim, Lord, for Pippa. And I pray, Lord Jesus, right now. Yes, Paul mentioned, oh God, Lord, there are other believers right now. Lord God, that is in need of deliverance. Father God, that's in need of freedom. Right now, Father, we send the word of God to their room, Lord. They might not be, oh God, on the Zoom session, but, oh God, you know them. Oh, Freddie mentioned them by name, oh God. I won't mention it here now, but you know the names, Lord. And you go to their house and you do a complete deliverance. Oh God, set the captive free, Father. That's what you do, Lord. And you've given us that authority to speak the word by faith. We say thank you this evening. We love you. We adore you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, how I love him. How I my breath, my sunshine, my all in all. The great creator. Oh, no, no. 
more sun and we'll close. Oh, how I love him. Oh, how I love him. How I adore him. As we just bow our heads and close our eyes this evening, I mean, I'm going to ask for the Nashay, could you just close your eyes with me in a word of prayer and resolution? Heavenly Father, we just appreciate you for, for this great moment, Lord. It's not a man we have heard from, but mm. it's from you, Lord. Amen. Jesus. We are so appreciating, Lord Jesus, that you can step in and we can see this is beyond what a man can do because of how you minister to our souls, Lord. We thank you because you are always bringing something that we really ought to hear. Yes, so, Father. Lord Jesus is beyond theology or anything mm. else, but it's only God himself Amen. knowing Amen. the needs of Amen. his people. Amen. Yes. Lord Jesus, we are really thankful for, for this opportunity that you gave us, Lord. Amen. Even as we were starting the meeting, we have someone testifying how mm. privileged it is oh god yes to, yes to come to grow up in a true lord. home yes. lord as we go out there you mm. get into homes lord mm. and you start to appreciate mm. these things lord yes we, we really want to thank you we don't want to take any of these things for granted yes. lord jesus and we thank you for presenting things in such a way that Lord mm. can actually make an election and mm. choose you mm. as yes. yes. our yes. source of leadership. Lord. Yes, we, mm. we we just thank you for everything that you have done, oh God. Yes. If it wasn't for you, Lord, if it wasn't for your grace, we, we don't know what we could have been. Yes. So many times we, we, we don't see things in a way that if it wasn't for your grace, what would we have done? Yes, Father. So, Lord, we just want to thank you for, for ministering to us. Oh thank God. you, Jesus. May, may you help us, Lord, to, to, to listen to what the Spirit is saying Amen. to us. That's the most important thing, Lord, because when you come like this, Lord, you're expecting us Amen. to now take that grace that has come. Amen. To move us to the next level, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. We just want to appreciate and take your word, Lord. Thank you. Because we see the time that we are living, Lord Amen. Jesus. Everything is falling apart. Yes. The only thing we we have that we can have trust in is this word. Yes, so Lord, Lord. We just appreciate you for what you've done for us. We don't deserve any of yes, this, my God. but it's just your mercy, Lord. It's just what you did for us. No man could deserve this, but you gave it anyhow, Lord. You knew this before the foundation of the world. We thank you for that, Lord, knowing us. We just rest this into your hands, Lord. Even now, as we go to our homes, Lord, may you continue 
to, to, to bless us and Amen. Amen. bring these things Amen. we have been hearing to Amen. our remembrance, Lord. Yes, Lord. Not to forget these things, Amen. Lord, because Amen. these things are of good report. Yes. We, we Amen. got to remember these things that you have been ministering. Amen. Amen. Yes. We thank you for tonight, Amen. Lord thank Jesus. You. May you have preeminence in our daily lives, in everything else, Lord. As we go home, we take the name of Jesus with yes. us. Yes, Father. We just bless this meeting and Amen. take everything into your hands. In Jesus Christ's Thank name, you, Lord. we pray. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you. Amen. 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 You may be seated. God bless you one and all. Thank you. And Brother Morgan, thank you so much. Yes. God richly bless you for your burden. So you release the burden. So now it's up on us that heard it. What are we going to do with this Jesus? Amen. Call the Christ. So God bless each and every one. Just one announcement. Sorry, two announcements. So um, on Thursday night, there'll be, um, sorry, on Thursday night, there'll be um, a youth gathering. At 7 30 or 8 7 30, and then on Sunday um, afternoon, evening, we'll have our communion service the first uh, communion service after lockdown. So, uh, I think we forgot to mention that on Friday, on, on Sunday, Sunday, Friday, according to you. Hey, um, the hot water test is the hot water going to be fixed? Is not hot water, hot water. yeah. Yes, so we've, um, I'm, I'm sorting that out. I've already spoken to them. Okay. But why do you need hot water? Because it's winter. <laughs> it's not about the hot, it's about, you know, observing. <laughs> but yes, so I'm, I'll make sure that there's hot water. I'll sort that out. Um, uh, so so on, on Thursday, youth, on Sunday, we'll have communion service. So I think that's all the announcements. So God richly bless you. And take the name of Jesus with you. Amen. Whoever is um, co-hosting, you can spotlight and everyone can say goodbye. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Bye. 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 Happy birthday, as well. This is our own list of jail. Hi. 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 Hey. Happy heart, happy heart, heart. Happy heart. Happy. Love you all. <laughs> Yay. 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 Okay, here's my heart, Opie. Here's my heart, Opie. Oh, cute. Opie, here's my heart, Opie. Thank you. 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 Samantha, where's your heart? Oh, where's your heart? Here's my heart, Samantha. Josiah, where's your heart? Josiah. Hi, Brother June. Where's your heart, Brother June? That's so cute. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Hey, 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 yes, my heart to talk. Bye, Sister Rebecca. 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 Bye, Josh, where's your heart? Josh, where's your heart? Your heart, Josh. I'm just in your heart. He's not interested. Oh, bye, guys. Bye. 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 Not again.
Tess, where's your heart, Tess? Go back to Tess. Well, where's Tess? Go bless. God bless. Where's your heart, Tess? Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. Brother David. Yes, the heart, Brother David. Hi, Anna. Anna, where's the heart, Anna? Hi, Anna. Oh, cute. Hi, Brother David. Jude, where's your heart, Jude? Where's your heart? No. Not that. <laughs> Look, where's your... There we go, Luke. There we go, Luke. <laughs> Joel, where's your heart? No. 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 Yay. Yay. <laughs> Love you all, eh? Bye. Oh, yeah. Bye. 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 Hi, Bob. Happy Bob. Okay. Okay. That's who's ending the meeting. Must we end? No, we can. You guys, I'm not. Okay, I'm ending it. Bye, everyone. Okay, bye. Bye.